Keep your heads up, beautiful family. We see the day approaching. And here's the verse of the day, and it's Matthew 5, 14, like Israel's birthday. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And I'm noticing and I'm hearing from you, brothers and sisters, that a lot of brothers and sisters are confused. So I'm going to try to clear things up for you right now. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. This is the clearest picture we've ever seen. There should be no confusion. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace as in all churches of the saints. And I've said it many times and I'll say it again. The Holy Spirit told me, finding the day of the rapture is not what's important. What's important is what we do until the day of the rapture. So don't let your hearts grow callous. It's all about love. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And charity is love. Right now, Everyone needs to spiritually hug it out and walk in love, mercy, forgiveness, kindness, patience. And I'm feeling his Holy Spirit. And here's what he wants us to do. Luke 12, 36, and ye yourselves like unto men that wait for their Lord when he will return from the wedding, that when he cometh and knocketh, they may open unto him immediately. Now on to the signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars, right where Jesus Christ said they would be and they are. Just like he said. And I'll go over the sunspots real quick because they're gigantinormously off the charts. And as you can see right there, it's 34, 33, 34, 35, 34, 36. Well, guess what's coming next, family? 34, 34, people will return. 34, 37, he will return. And 34, 39, only born, i.e. soul, only begotten child. And she being with child cried in pain to be delivered. And those sunspots are probably going to pop up tomorrow during the greatest sign we've ever seen in our lives. Don't be discouraged. Don't be confused. Tomorrow is the sign of Revelation 12 and the child is coming out of the woman and the dragon starts hanging left tomorrow and it is the great red dragon and I'll prove it to you right now and it's right here. Some comets like it hot. Yesterday, September 17th, comet Nishimura made a close approach to the sun deep inside the orbit of Mercury. The comet survived. And as you can see right there, this photographer caught it and it's red. All glory to our father, just like I said. And this ain't about who's right and who's wrong. This is about facts and truth. This is about us watching and being patient and waiting for our father to send Jesus Christ to come and get us. Remember, family, God is good. God is great. He's always on time and he's never late. Remember, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. And as you can see right here in the community, question, I've heard the comment called good husband, man, child, and Patrick call it the dragon. Am I missing something? Well, first of all, family, the comment is named Nishimura, and the meaning of Nishimura is to go west. The man that discovered the comet is named Hydeo, but that's not what the comet's called. Well, Hydeo is what means excellent male child, but the comet's not called Hydeo. That name is Hyde. Oh, and just like the false messiah is coming, the Antichrist, it's very clear that there would be a counterfeit child, man child. And as you can see right here, I said, because it's true. Yeshua represents Yahuwah and Yeshua. The child represents us. Nishimura represents the dragon drawing its tail and drawing a third of the stars into this constellation that you're seeing right before your eyes, family. And I'm being lit up with the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Father. And yes, praise you, Father, for the clearest rapture 
picture slash sign in history. And as you can see right here, someone left a comment and said, check again the male child. He ruled with the rod of iron. All glory to our Father, I replied and said, I don't need to check again because I know Jesus Christ, all glory to the Father. Revelation 2.26 And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule with them a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my Father. And I will give him the morning star. We are the child that's about to be caught up, family. When Jesus was a child, they fled to Egypt for seven years. Jesus was not caught up as a child. He was caught up as a grown man right before their eyes. It's Acts 1.11, which also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven, so shall come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon. And God just confirmed that for a third time. And it's all falling into place perfectly. And I'm not saying any date is the rapture. But what I am saying is tomorrow's date is the convergence. It's the biggest sign we've ever seen. It's the seven-year covenant with many. And on the sidelines, they will be pushing the Israel-Palestine peace treaty. And as you can see right here, I posted five hours ago, the Feast of Trumpets ends tomorrow on the 19th, on the Revelation 12 sign, on the seven-year covenant, all glory to the Father. It's right here. Rosh Hashanah cannot be on a Sunday. And again, people can argue, but the truth is we all see the day approaching. So let's all unite, watchmen, brothers and sisters, pastors, Everyone that loves Jesus Christ, hug it out, love it out. John 16, 21, a woman when she is in travail hath sorrow because her hour is come. But as soon as she is delivered of the child, she remembereth no more the anguish for joy that a man is born into the world. Verse 22, and ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again and your heart shall rejoice. And your joy, no man taketh from you. Don't let anyone steal your joy. Don't let anyone steal your crown. Live in love, mercy, forgiveness, kindness, patience. And if you're going to listen to anyone, listen to Jesus Christ, please. Revelation 3, verse 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Jesus Christ, the red words. Instead of trying to find the date, how about follow Jesus Christ? Matthew 5, 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Praise you, Father. And a lot of you are living in love. And a lot of you have been purified. And a lot of you aren't letting anyone steal your crown. Hallelujah, praise you, Father. But if you're one of the brothers or sisters out there that are confused trying to find the date... You're wasting your time because you're not going to know the date of the rapture until it happens. No one will, except for the Father. And right above some comets like it hot, the great red dragon, Nishimura, that has a gigantic, enormous tail that's swinging it through the woman, right above that is this beautiful aurora. And it says CME impact sparks geomagnetic storm. Well, here's what's gigantinormous. A few things that are gigantinormous. Today, September 18th at 1350 Universal Time is when the CME hit the Earth's magnetic field. And in Hebrew, 1350, the definition is to redeem. Act of kinsmen. The Redeemer. But here's what's beyond gigantinormous. And beyond beautiful, thank you, Jesus Christ. In Greek, the definition is a net. Usage, a fishing net. I've known this for so many years. All glory to you, Father. I've been sounding the alarm 
about this very Strong's, and here's why. All glory to our Father in the name above every name, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. Christina and I printed most of the half a million, 500,000 great wedding feast invitations that we shipped to thousands of you brothers and sisters all over the world at this place right here, GW2 Printing. It's closed now, but when it was open, it was at 1350 Central Avenue and I got the Holy Spirit all over me. 1350, the Redeemer, a fishing net. The net is full, family. It's the same time that this CME hit the Earth's magnetic field today. And yesterday, the great red dragon made a special appearance. And God proved right here to everybody that it is a red comet with a tail. Just like the dragon is a red dragon with a tail. And it's in Earth's direct path. It's headed straight for Gale. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and 10 horns and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron and her child was caught up, raptured unto God and to his throne. And we're going home. It don't matter what I'm saying. It matters what you're seeing. It matters what Jesus Christ said. John 14, let not your heart be troubled, family. Let not your heart be troubled. Listen, family. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in Jesus Christ. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. Where? The Father's house. Home. And as you can see right there, the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is almost under her feet, but it's not under her feet yet. And it won't be until the 19th. And I'll walk you through the hours because the moon, there's the 19th. It's under her feet and it goes into the scale on the 19th. And guess what? It comes out of the scale on the 19th family. The 2023 Revelation 12 sign that blows any sign that we've ever seen out of the water starts and completes and is over on the 19th tomorrow. And I can only speak for myself and preach the gospel and the truth and show the signs. But here's what I'll be doing until Jesus Christ comes and gets us. I'll be looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. And now is the time for all of us, the body of Christ, to unite and agree on one thing, that we see the day approaching quickly. So keep your heads up and expect Him. And if for some reason tomorrow's not the appointed time, we keep watch and we keep looking for our blessed hope. And we keep doing what he said because finding the date of the rapture is not what's important. What's important is what we do until the date of the rapture. So love everyone, serve everyone. When Jesus Christ does come to get us, have your lights on, shining brightly. He's not looking for doubt when he comes. He's looking for faith when he comes. And I'm about to see you in the clouds. I love you, family.